Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video what I'm showing you is one of the error where we are trying to do a join or we are trying to evaluate the one field with another field. So I'll tell you the scenario and then it will be very easy for you to understand. So what we are having is the superstore data set in which we have the field called order ID which indicates that a customer has purchased an order and what is the associated order ID. Now it may happen that in certain cases customer is returning the order. So what do we have is we have the return table where we have the order ID and return date. So what do we have in the back end is we have created a uh, many to many relationship because uh, order ID can return like multiple times. So what is the order ID and return date and then order ID is connected on this this uh, particular sales order. So that if let's say we need to report how many what is the order amount of which order ID has been uh, sorry what are those order IDs which is for which the amount is returned and then we can take a sum of it for reporting purpose right and for that you what you would do is you would try to create a calculate function like return order amount calculate sum of uh, superstore sales right because that is your order amount of the sales amount and you would try to basically say okay superstore order ID equals to return order ID you would expect that hey I have done the join in the back end and now I can go ahead and use it well in this case you need to just uh, if, if you're facing this issue then you just need to modify your statement or calculate function uh, like I will show you in a in couple of seconds before that if you are very new to my channel then you should know that all of my power video power bi videos are uh, stored in this google drive I mean in this google sheet and if you see I'm keeping a track of all of the videos with the help of the title and this and the tire with the link of the the tutorial that way you can easily search any video that you need for example i'm having a lot of dashboard videos the rank dax visualization and you can see a lot many other folks are utilizing it so make sure you bookmark this or you can even subscribe and uh, make sure you hit the bell icon just so that all of these new videos are coming to you but this i would specially wanted to highlight because this will help you even if you are not subscribed or you have not hit the bell button but whenever you need it you can just come over here and, and utilize this with that let's go back to the power bi okay so the way we will going to solve this is with the help of two functions the first function will be the filter function right and in the filter function what we will what we need is a table so what we will do is we will use a function called cross join to basically cross join on order id so we will say all order ID which is first is this and then we will say all order ID which is in this case will be the return order ID. So now our table is present right within the cross join and then we hit the comma and then we have this condition superstore ID equals to the return order ID right. Now this is completed so what I'll do is I will just click OK. And as you would expect, you know, the error is gone by using this. So what we have done is simply within the filter condition. So filter is by default applied, but in this special condition, we needed to create a new table with the help of the cross join function to do a cross join between these two columns and then find the amount. Now I can simply create this KPI card and uh, click on this return order amount. And I know that 1.91k is my return order amount. It will become the KPI for you for your reporting. So let me know how did you like this video. And uh, for uh, more such videos, make sure you subscribe, the, uh, subscribe and hit the bell icon for all the updates.